I was bamboozled into spending $80 on this. You might be thinking, what, how? I'm gonna be explaining all that more in today's video. Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs here, and we are going to be doing a bit of a video today. So I bought this thing over the Black Friday uh, weekend, and I thought that it was really interesting, and I wanna get into how this all happened first. And this is purely based off of my own customer experience. All of this is going to be my opinion. All right, so to start, it was Black Friday, uh, and I follow a user by the name of Republic Bricks on Instagram. Now, Republic Bricks has had some controversy in the past in regards to the way he sells stuff. I'm not here to get into that. My opinion originally was I didn't like a lot of stuff he did like back in 2018. He was pretty ruthless in the way he handled his business transaction. He got much better. I think he did do a lot better, and I think he still sells a lot of really cool and really good stuff. He offers opportunities for a lot of great sets that LEGO doesn't make. On this particular front, however, I, I was not impressed, certainly. Uh, so I bought one of his mystery boxes recently. Mystery boxes, you are given a game of chance, and I want to show you what it was I saw on his website and why I came to the conclusion I did. Uh, and I also have words from him, and I'll, I'll give you all that because I want to present you with all the information. I'm not going to try to hold anything back. This is just my whole experience. So up here on this website right here, we have a Republic Bricks' website. Uh, and, you know, it's very nice. Uh, and this was a thing he had posted on his Instagram story that kind of interested me because, again, like I said, I think he has really great sets. And as you can see, he got some amazing stuff. You have a ghost here. You have a Kashyyyk. You have all this really cool stuff. It's advertised, of course, all the very, very big stuff you have an opportunity at getting. Um, happy Thanksgiving, mystery box, will sell out fast. Now, look at this, so it says $34.99, it was originally $99, so I'm like, whoa, $100, that's a great deal. Little did I know. <laughs> uh, and I'll get to how it's 80 in a second, and look, there's five in stock, so a few of you guys can get these goofy looking chickens, which we'll take a look at in a bit. Uh, so it's a same day shipping, ships Black Friday. If you have any of these items, you can request not to get them. I, I didn't have any of these. Uh, you will receive one of the following set. Uh, the Venator is guaranteed. So like, look at this. So it says you will receive one of the following sets here. That's the first thing. So I just assumed everything listed would be a set, right? Isn't that a logical conclusion? So I'm going through, you know, I'm looking on my phone, so it's a little harder to navigate than my computer. You have Republic Gunship, MTT, uh, Playscale Venator, Bad Batch Shuttle, Droid Control Ship, Republic Attack Shuttle. So I'm like, I'm, I'm scrolling through, okay, so they're sets, makes sense. I even scrolled all the way to the bottom to see, oh, are any of these minifigures? Uh, and then down here you see Rogue Shadow, Mantis, UCS Scarif. Okay, so it's all sets. So apparently, uh, somewhere around here, there is one little section where he's the, the, all the minifigures are snuck in. And this is where I start to have my problem. One Thanksgiving exclusive figure. One in 50 Yoda, $50. Turkey Rex, $50. Is this Captain Rex? I, I didn't even know that was Captain Rex. One in 70 Turkey Tano for 50. Why, why is the, the Turkey Tano more expensive than the, the, the one of 70 Tano, you know, more expensive than the one of 50 Yoda? I, I don't know. Um, so anyway, this is... This is what I read. I did not know that was there because I just assume I scroll all the way at the top. I scroll on the bottom. It says right here, you will receive one of the following sets. So I didn't even know minifigures were a part of the equation. Uh, and, you know, that, that's fine. And, and I'm pretty sure with most of his other mini boxes, may, maybe minifigures are an option. But yeah, I'm looking at this other one. I, I don't see any minifigures as an option. So I just assumed it was one of those set minifigure ones or, or regular set ones. We just include sets like every other mystery box he does. But I thought, you know, this is a good deal, $35. I didn't, I didn't know the minifigure was there. All right. So anyway, I get home and I open the mailbox. And in the mailbox, I see a thing from Republic Bricks. Now, I'm assuming this thing coming in somewhat of a decently sized bubble mailer uh, because, you know, it was supposed to be a set. So I, I go and look and it's just a flat thing. I'm like, oh, crap. What happened? But I open it up and... It's two of the goofiest looking minifigures I have personally ever seen in my whole life. I, I wanna show you guys these minifigures. We're gonna do minifigure review here because I don't even know what's going on here. All right, so what the, f what are these? I'm gonna try not to curse here. Okay, so I, I don't like as a general rule, like saying, oh, this is a one of 50 or 70 exclusive thing. That's a personal thing I have. 
I think it's a dumb rule. It's like, oh, I'm making my own exclusives up, so I don't, I can't confirm if they're actually one of 50. And even if there are, does anyone really want to buy this for $35, let alone the $50 which he claims is? And there it is, stamped with his insignias right there. Um, so, like, you know it's, it's legit. Um, either way, obviously, there you have the back printing. You have, I, I don't even know what the thought process is. There's something like flowers printed on Ahsoka. It, it's orange. It, it has nice wraparound printing. I'll, I'll be honest, this is my favorite type of printing. It's not, like, of par of Clone Army Customs printing uh, or Legos. It is, I think, like, Minifig Madness, which I'm just... It's not my preferred thing. That's why I tend to not buy these types of prints. So, so that's supposed to be Ahsoka, apparently. I... I he just slaps a turkey head on it. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> um, and, and then here's, here's uh, Turkey Rex, which I didn't even know this was Rex. I just... How, how, what makes this Captain Rex? Maybe the face? It doesn't have any of his arm printing. He doesn't even have his pistols. This could, this could really be any clone. and There's no distinguishing thing that makes this Captain Rex. Either way, I'm caught up in the details. You have a little tree printed on there, leaves. There's like a turkey on the arm. It, okay, it's, it's kind of cute. You have like the turkey tails on the back. Okay, uh, I guess. You know, I ordered it on Thanksgiving, so a little late. Um, yeah, th this was $80. C can I remind you? These two things, $80. And I, I kind of want to get into why this frustrates me more, because I would be fine. Like I wouldn't even be making a video about this if it was like one figure that was it. And then I got another set, because I'd be fine if I just got one set, because that was what I was led to believe it was. It was sets, um, as the description read. So, so I want to give a bit of that, I guess. Okay, so a, a few things I would quickly like to address now is I had a great experience with Republic Bricks the last time I uh, bought a handful of his blind bags. I think it was like. 40 bucks each, and you got like five special builds. I think some were ATRT walkers. I got like a cool Wookiee flying ship. It was really neat. I, and that's why I bought it again. Because I thought, oh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, and, and I was just, I was really excited about it. It was really nice. So I saw I was running a deal again around Black Friday, and I jumped on it. Because again, it was cool. And I just feel very misled here at best. Maybe this is just me. Maybe it's saying, if you have any... Maybe it's just saying you will receive one of the following sets. I just assumed there would be sets there and not minifigures. And again, like I said, what are the odds of it being a minifig, both being minifigures? But when someone orders two of them and they're both minifigures, I mean, come on. And minifigure is like one of like the 30 things listed. Like you have like a lot of things listed here. So I want to read you his message because this is what he said because I DM'd him about it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he ordered a set one. He's like, no, they included minifigures, and then I would read, and oh, okay, apparently there are minifigs there. Um, he says he doesn't pack orders or show favoritism to anyone. Mystery boxes have a pool of items. I put the amount inside a single big box. Then I ship the labels. My workers randomly pick who gets what. Figures were most common, probably, so that's why you got two. And then after that, I basically told him, you know, I'm disappointed and probably won't be buying again. Because why would I buy again when stuff like this happened? He says, hate to hear that. Those figures cost $27 each to produce. <laughs> okay. So not much profit on them to begin with. But mystery boxes are meant for buyers to win every time. Okay, so I spent $80. Do you guys think I won? I mean... Maybe it's just me. A one of one, one of one exclusive. That literally, that doesn't mean very much to me. Uh, but but that was his response. So I'll, I'll let you know. Anyone who's good with that, you know, fine. Um, I I happen to like Timmy. I think he's fine. I don't have a particular problem. But you know, okay. Uh, that that's kind of my logic with this. So I just lost eighty bucks off of this video. I figured it makes some entertaining content. And the minifigure isn't even advertised in the mystery box picture. If it's the most common thing, like he says, it should be advertised there, generally as a rule. That, that's And you know, these things are not going for the prices. Uh, they're, they're not going for $27. He, they may, according to him, they cost $27 to make. So I'll run with that and say, and say that's actually what's happening. I don't, you know, I'm not here to say it's not, uh, but you know. You saw him yourself, so you, you can say whatever you want about that. <laughs> um, but I, I, I can say is that nobody is paying that much for them. I mean, in the comment section, ask, would, would you pay $80 for these? Let, let alone the, the price. What, what does he claim these are worth? He claims Ahsoka's worth 
a 54 and he is, uh, claims Rex is worth 50. So that is the original $100 price, if he does claim that everyone wants to win, he wants the customer to win with every one of these, uh, they're still losing. So in total, the actual value according to him, the arbitrary value, which I don't think anyone's paid, I'm pretty sure they're not sold out on his website, uh, it is about $105. I hope you all enjoyed, uh, and I guess this is a bit of a buyer beware when it comes to all mystery boxes. Uh, Republic Bricks, I like your stuff a lot, man. I like your sets. I'm not going to be buying from you again after this experience. I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. That's all. All right. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.